What's up, guys? Welcome to Rice and Beans. Jester and Jasmine are in the house. What's up, Jasmine? What up? How is your Sunday going? It's going. Yeah, mine's kind of going to uh, my team is <laughs> playing in the first round of the playoffs and there's a minute left in the game and they're down by one point. So hopefully they pull that off. But um, anyways... <laughs> In other Hi. news, <laughs> I guess in other more productive news, uh, we're here and the video feed looks good this time. Hopefully uh, nobody gets uh, dropped out and we're not little tiny icons like Pepper was last week. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so, right? Yeah, uh, we were all, I, I think we were all in normal size windows except for her. The logo took up a third window and made her the little pop-out window. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but um, looks like we got it under control this week. So uh, looking forward to, I kind of like doing this video thing. It's like, I know. Do you? It's all right. I think think it's just because I. You don't have to convince me to do this, really. (laughs) Because I think we're all used to looking at each other on Skype and everything. And we've been doing it for two seasons, so we're already used to it. But um, I guess just the new, the newness of the, the actual recording the video and seeing how we like, yeah, we, like, like how we look at each other can, like fix my hair now though or something it's like <laughs> oh there goes you know cowlick like right there but i don't know at this point who gives a fuck <laughs> and that's Here the right attitude face. to have hey that's the that's the same attitude madonna has about her new blood implants <laughs> did you hear about that <laughs> and to see the pictures oh man whoa look I, i'm all for the you know people being able to do what they want to their body, it's their body. I get it, but uh, it, it a little effort, man. That shit's permanent. <laughs> like, is she trying to look like a Kardashian or something? Like, I don't even know. It just looks so horrible. Like she I mean, bought her but clearly, she's got money to get this done. But then again, I don't know. I have no clue with that lady. I really don't. I mean, she has a lot of money. You would figure that she could, you know, she'd be having a good plastic surgeon and one that was going to make it look natural. And I mean, well, as natural as it can be, considering that she didn't have one yeah. before. <laughs> I don't even really remember her having a butt. No. Like, even uh-uh. in the 80s, I don't remember her having a butt. I think having a butt right now or a booty, whatever you want to call it, is kind of like a thing for how it is beauty standards wise nowadays it's like you have to have an ass so i don't know i don't know if i can relate to that because you know asian people are normally built like sticks or in my case i was built like two sticks three four i don't know (laughs) but (laughs) like a bundle of sticks (laughs) So whatever, I don't care. I've never really paid attention to like, at least as as I got older, I don't really pay attention to how I'm supposed to look or whatever. I just like, after a while, I'm just like, hey, I'm still pulling. Like, they still keep coming. It's all right, you know. At some There's point- a white guy in there somewhere that likes anime who's going to love me. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're at an age where it's gotten to the point where it's like, I'm here. If I could take me as I am, if you don't like my clothes, leave. You know, it's like you're gonna wake up 30 years from now, and I'm gonna look like a dinosaur for real. Like <laughs> this isn't gonna be permanent. It will be like this until we're 60, and I'm gonna be looking like I'm 40. Like believe like, me, motherfucker, this is the least of your worries. <laughs> like that's it. All I know is I'm getting laid. That's just my mentality. As long as I'm getting laid, I'm good. If I'm not getting laid, then there's a problem. I better start, like, you know, chugging some fucking Slim Tea or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a pro- I, I, I guess it's only a problem when the little kids come up to you and, and, and say, I know, three pe- I know three fat people in this whole complex and you're two of them. <laughs> oh, God. That would be the day. You know, that would be scary. And I don't, I mean, maybe it just looked weird on her because it... Because 
she's a fucking ancient dinosaur. Like, she's fucking 65. I don't understand. Could she just, like, call Chris Jenner or something and be like, yo, who's your surgeon? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's some really good-looking old people out there. I don't know why she can't be one of them. Yeah, I guess it's <laughs> I guess it's a choice. <laughs> to be Kanye Jr., <laughs> it's a choice. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't know. I don't even, is she still even making music? I don't even know. I think she's still doing concerts, but I I don't remember or recall anything. Uh, her recently uh, releasing any kind of an album or, or anything like that. Uh, I think it's mostly just, like, humanitarian yeah. work and... Um, like yeah, humanitarian she's not work anymore. and Britney uh, Spears is a new Madonna, so that's all good. <laughs> Who Britney Spears? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing, but I mean, <laughs> she passed the torch, you know, during the MTV Awards, kissing her and everything. <laughs> I guess that's what it was. She passed the the burn that she passed was herpes, <laughs> not a torch. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because even. Um, even Dennis Rodman uh, made a joke about that uh, during one of the roasts that he was on, and he was like, I don't know what you're doing with your life, and take it from me, I fuck Madonna without a condom. Oh! <laughs> God, they're just passing along. <laughs> so, I... I, I, a BT card or something. Shit. Like I don't have again. Like I don't have anything against plastic surgery. I mean, it's like it's all fine and well. It's your body. Do you know? Do whatever to it that you want. But I mean, if the point is for it to look nice or look nicer than what was previously there, then um, was previously there, but it wasn't there. <laughs> We talked about this already. It wasn't there. She didn't have a butt, so I guess she didn't have anything to model her current situation. <laughs> yeah, no, and that, and maybe that's the other reason that everybody is like making such a big deal about it is because it went from absolutely nothing at all nothing. to <laughs> like <laughs> Kim Junior, and I was like, whoa, that was a that was a bit of a <laughs> that was a bit of a stretch, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um... She was doing, like, squats since the 80s, I guess, and it just popped out. (laughs) She better get back to using that Suzanne uh, Summers, the thigh master. (laughs) (laughs) Jazzercise. Yeah. (laughs) That's how fucking old Madonna is. Oh, my God, I actually feel better about myself right now. Like, all right, cool. Jazzercise, holy shit. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, no, there was a, there was an awful lot of, um, uh, there was, there was an awful lot of chatter on, on social media when it came out, a bunch of people defending her, a bunch of people saying stuff like, it looks like she got her butt implants at Big Lots. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a little oh, harsh, but, I mean, it does kind of look like that. It just... Just a tiny bit, you know, ever so slightly. What? Holy shit. That's terrible. Or she got a bit bulk from Costco. <laughs> there was also jokes She's about... Denying it, though. She's denying it. What does she wear? Like padded underwear or something? I mean, it looks terrible. Well, that... She was fucking depends. I don't know. Oh, that was, that was another thing. They said that it looked like she was now modeling adult diapers. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that's exactly right sorry madonna i love you i love your music <laughs> <laughs> and there were people on there and one of the comments was leave madonna alone and the first thing i thought about was the leave britney alone guy yeah <laughs> the one that was all in tears leave Britney alone <laughs> That guy is still on social media, by the way. Is somewhere. He? Yeah, he still posts like and the thing is though, he doesn't even look remotely like he did in that Leave Britney Alone video. Chris Crocker, is that his name? I was gonna I wasn't sure. I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Chris Crocker. Yep. 
That's his name. He looks nothing like... Look at... Actually, guys... That's him now! What? That's the I Leave Britney Alone really... guy? Yeah! <coughs> oh, get I mean, the fuck he's gotta out. be gay. You think? <laughs> There is a slight possibility that that could be the case. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's definitely gay. We might have to have Cookie confirm on that one, but I I'm pretty sure you and I are right. Confirm, please. <laughs> and he's on Instagram, and he still refers to himself as the Leave Britney Alone guy. Really. And he- yeah, and he has one million followers. Well, I mean, that oh, kind of... he's definitely gay. Okay, yeah, he's, like, fodling things here. That he's was... Ca- yeah, that was kind of his claim to fame. Yeah. Wow, but he definitely looks different. He definitely looked like I would have swiped right. <laughs> <laughs> By accident on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> By know? accident on purpose? No, no, not on purpose. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of uh, people doing things on purpose um, by accident, there's uh, so those challenges they they still haven't stopped, and of uh, and they're just I don't know, man. Uh, I maybe they should go get jobs instead of trying to think of stupid things to do or other stupid things to do. They do this all over YouTube, you know? It's like one person does this, one YouTuber does this or whatever, and it just turns into this one big train of challenges. So, which challenge are we talking about? Well, the latest one is the Bird Box Challenge, and me, personally, I haven't seen the movie, but I... I, I no, not missing much? Um... I mean, like, it's one of those, like, you know how you want to watch a movie and you're like, uh, yeah, I should have just rented this. I think it's one of those, well, you know, you have no obvious choice than to rent it on Netflix <laughs> or watch Netflix, so there's a win-win right there. But it was all right. It had a lot of big-name actors in there. Um, Sandra Bullock's in there, obviously, and, um, you know, other movie stars I can't name. Because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just know them from like, oh, yeah, that's the Asian guy from, what? what's his face or whatever. Or, you know, that black dude from there or whatever. I don't know why I keep on describing things by their ethnicity, <laughs> but you, you, you get the drift. Um, so, essentially, the movie is about, like, it's actually about an apocalypse. Uh-huh. And... For some weird reason, they see, like, this entity, and they commit, like, mass suicide. Like, these, like, people, me and you, you see this thing, and you just want to kill yourself. So that's why there's a blindfold. So that's why they can't see this, because if they see it, then they're going to fucking die. (laughs) Okay. Well, then... (laughs) It's, so there goes that. Well, it's not uh, Sharknado, but I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> I haven't seen Sharknado. I actually want to see Sharknado now. <laughs> now that you say that, but sure. yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's a it's a pretty good movie. I wouldn't say it's like the best movie I've seen. You know, like people hype these things up like they've never fucking seen other good fucking movies before. But I mean, it's a good movie for Netflix, I think. Um, other than that, these fuckers are probably blindfolding themselves, I'm assuming, and yep. spending what hours on end blindfolded. It's like I thought that was like Fifty Shades of Grey, like. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Somebody was like, oh, we've done that already. Hold on. Time out. <laughs> already yeah, been done. Yeah, so like the, you know, the Fifty Shades of Grey challenge, like, you know, blindfolded. I guess that's with the cracking of the whip, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a bird box. You're probably asking why a bird box. Well, she's got like these little birds that kind of like alert them when this thing is, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this movie. <laughs> I really don't. Um, yeah, 
it's it's all right. More power to the people that love the movie, but I watched it just to see what all the hype was about. But I want to see how these things are turning out. So they're they're blindfolded, what grocery shopping and doing all sorts of things, or um, there there were a couple of videos that I saw. There was one that was uh, a little more lengthy, and it was about fifteen minutes, seventeen minutes, something like that. Um, but they didn't have the blindfolds on when they were in the house initially, but then, then they had to leave. And so they went out the garage door and into the garage. And as they're getting in or as they're walking out, they're putting the blindfold on and, you know, they, they walk out. And then when they get in to, to get in the car, they did it blindfolded and they opened the garage door and somebody was driving, but they were just kind of like passengers and, and stuff. But, uh, mm-hmm. they were, they went to like, Popeyes blindfolded. They went to like the mall. They, they were just you know walking around trying I went to do stuff. Popeyes blindfolded. Popeyes is gonna taste the same fucking thing like blindfolded. <laughs> is it okay? Right, like man. Let me tell you, I ran into. I'm just gonna put this on blast. I went to Popeyes like last week. I'm sorry, guys, but when Popeyes. you say you're closed at ten, and I put in an order at nine fifty, please don't tell me to wait out the window for twenty fucking minutes until you're closed, and then I have to turn the fucking car around and be like, "Where's my food?" <laughs> like, don't even fucking take an order at all at nine fifty if you're gonna close in ten minutes and tell me to wait for twenty minutes outside if you're not going to be my food. Because I swear to God, everyone in the car was fucking hangry as fuck. Like. Yeah, so, Wilson was like, I'm about to throw the N-word. Like, <laughs> what? Damn. Yeah, they didn't bring it out at all? I'm about to throw the N-word. These people are being fucking dicks. I want my fucking chicken, my mashed potatoes, my fucking dirty rice. Like, he was just so <laughs> fucking pissed. And I'm over there, like, you know, my, my kid was at, in the backseat and was just like, I just want my biscuits. And I'm like, oh, my God, everyone just wants to fucking eat. So anyways. <laughs> Please, if you're a fast food worker, please do not take an order 10 minutes before you're going to close if you're not going to give me a food. Just saying. <laughs> did, Sorry. So did, you, did you guys end up getting your food or no, not at all? No, we did. We did. No, we, we pulled. Uh, and as we fucking pulled into the window, they were all up in there dancing and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Where's my food? Okay. I got my food. And free mashed potatoes because, yeah, Wilson was not going to take that shit. He was like, I get, I better get some free shit out of this. <laughs> I'm like, you do you, babe. You do you. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, yeah. I would think, like, for fast food and then you have to wait 20 minutes outside and then they finally bring it to you. It kind of defeats yeah, the purpose. 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes for some dark meat. Hmm. I can go around the corner and get fucking dark meat for, like, five minutes. No. Just saying. Probably a different type of dark meat, the one that I don't <laughs> deal with, but... <laughs> yeah, Jasmine, don't go there. Mm-mm. No. I'm too little. <laughs> I, I can't, yeah, no. <laughs> so, um, Netflix actually released a statement saying, look... If you absolutely have to do this, and we're not encouraging you to do this, please don't be an idiot and get hurt. Because <laughs> yeah, don't blame shit. us. Like we're not we're not advising that you that you go out yeah, and do this. They have to this. fucking put a disclaimer now in, in fucking movies. Um, by the way, uh, don't run around blindfolded, driving and getting Popeyes. Like we're not. We're not liable for this. <laughs> I can't fucking imagine. People are stupid. I'm sorry. Probably um, fun to watch. I don't know. Was it fun to watch? Was it kind of like, oh, look at that fucking blindfolded guy? Like, I was thinking that I was gonna watch him bump into more stuff, but they didn't. So I'm like, eh, really. that's kind of meh. <laughs> I think it would have been funnier if they were bumping, right, walking around, bumping into stuff or into each other. But they had somebody like leading them around the whole time. So yeah, no, I just uh, I was expecting more funny i guess than anything else i guess just based on some of the fails that from those other chat like the kiki challenges the people slamming on the brakes and then their friends slamming into the door while they're or yeah. like they open the door and the car just takes off without them that was one of my favorite ones yeah they had celebrities do it that would be funny if they had like stevie wonder do it just kidding oh my god 
<laughs> Could you imagine? That was so inappropriate, guys. I'm so sorry, but you know. <laughs> well, we it's not like he needs to somewhere. see to do it. He's blind, not you know. <laughs> I know, and he knows where everything is. <laughs> That'd be funny yeah, if he does it with his cane. <laughs> be funny or just, like just fucking with his cane out there like all oh. yeah <laughs> but... so that's a challenge so i wonder what's next like is they're just getting worse and worse and i i, I just i wonder like jesus what's next after that stupid pie the tide pod one yeah, like, yeah. Tide pod challenge there's so many challenges like they go ba- way back ice bucket challenge like I don't know. There's some pretty crazy things on YouTube that you see. Like, they have, like, these things I've just recently, like, ran into. They're called, like, I don't even know if this is a recent thing. Who knows? But they're called, like, mukbangs or something when people are, like, eating. They're just, like, binge eating and talking. I was like, damn, I should do that. People watch this stuff. I should do that. And then they have, like, these ASMR videos when they're, like, eating or they're, like, whispering and people fucking watch these things. They call them, like, ASM artist. What the hell? Yes! Look them up! Oh my god, you need to get with the times. I know about these things because I'm an eight-year-old. So I watch these YouTube, like, hours. You're, you're like, lights out, no more YouTube. And she's like, but no! And I'm like, no, no more YouTube. <laughs> no, that is, like, their thing. It's like, there's, there's not even, like, there's no such thing as, like, TV anymore. It's like YouTube. So I got to stay relevant for my kid. <laughs> so we can bond, you know, like who, who's your favorite, like DIY, like YouTuber or something or whatever. Wow. I wow. Just Dude, the whole... you have a kid too. Get with the times. Come on. Yeah, but this one, but that one's a gamer though. So all he wants to do is just sit in front of the Xbox. And it's like, I've already played that game. Uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, try. He's like, and it's cool. Like, he'll find some of like my old games to go and try and play. I mean, and like try to sit there and tell me stuff about the game. And I'm like, y- you know, I I've, I've already played this game like three times, right? That's funny. <laughs> now my kid is like obsessed with like slime videos, just making slime everywhere. I, I've Different I've been seeing slime. a lot of that lately. That's like places where like. Uh, Fuck Checker and I were just somewhere today where they were there was a booth and that's what it was. It they was making slime. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. For Christmas, my daughter wanted like glue. And I'm like, all right, little girl, you're gonna sniff this or what? No, just kidding. But <laughs> no Get off but... your high horse. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, that's what she wanted. She wanted like a gallon of glue and like food coloring and all sorts of stuff and that's what she's into is slime and then at the christmas dinner table someone asked her about slime and seriously where i was like oh no she's about to go bubba gump on your ass on slime like there's there's crunchy slime there's glittery slime there's rainbow slime there's you know all these types of slime and she'll tell you exactly what's in the fucking slime she's crazy she's nuts but i love her yeah She's about to go like Bill Nye on you on slime. It's funny. It's just crazy with like what they get into now. It's just kind of like, really, you're you're into that, <laughs> like, <laughs> right? <laughs> like you got all this technology and that that's what's waving your flag right now. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like putty and slime is like a thing for my kid. It's like, all right, cool. I guess you know being sponsored by Elmer's glue for Christmas. Like <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's spon- just a bunch of glue. Sp- sponsor money is sponsor money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess so long as you're, it's not, you know, something that somebody's going to sponsor you and like, people are going to see it and be like, what the fuck? Why would you let them sponsor you or you're going to piss? Yeah, no shit. I'm like paranoid that I'd have like a bottle of fucking lube laying around. She'd think it's fucking glue or something and like turn it into slime. Another dick diorama? <laughs> we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta like, you know, hide that shit in the arsenal or something. <laughs> She's going to use it as the, she use it as the rain and the, for the dick diorama that she already made. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. To have kids. <laughs> for, for those of you that uh, didn't quite get that one, go back and listen to season one. You'll get it. <laughs> Somebody's kid will you, who will be uh, nameless at this time uh, made a dick diorama. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. So, um, <laughs> I'm sure that was very unpleasant with the parent-teacher conference. <laughs> uh, so, speaking of uh, movies and, and, uh, and stuff, the did you ever see that movie uh, Night School? It was uh, Kevin Hart. No. All right, so... Yeah, it was really funny. It was like it was really really funny. Uh, I liked it. Uh, Pepper and I watched it, and um, so there's a uh, one of the actresses uh, that's in there, uh, Tiffany uh, Haddish. Um, mm-hmm. She's a stand-up comedian, uh, and she is funny. Uh, she was uh, in the news uh, with around New Year's because she had a uh, a New Year's Eve show, like a, a stand-up comedy show um, mm-hmm. that I guess either didn't go exactly to plan or didn't go as smoothly as it as she thought it was going to go. <laughs> and people ended up, like, leaving her show and and all this stuff. They were, like, walking out, and there's, you know, footage of people, like, getting up, like, cell phone footage and stuff of people getting up and, like, just leaving the theater because she wasn't being funny. So... Uh, she got interviewed, and uh, what she had to say was that um, she said, uh, "Don't get too turnt before work, because that's what happens." <laughs> so I guess she had uh, partied, and she had, the night before, and then partied the night of, and uh-huh. then uh, <laughs> I guess things kind of went sideways with the show. Um, but one thing that uh, the other thing that she was actually in the in the news for lately was um her her protest she's gonna she says that she's going to wear fur every day until the police stop killing black people is what the quote says whoa that's some strong fucking statement right and so i'm like okay i'm gonna wear fur like i get it like you want to stand out, but what the fuck does fur have to do with it? Have to do with that? That is true, because that's <laughs> like me saying I'm gonna go wear a fucking sack of rice <laughs> until they. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't. I don't what? Right. <laughs> that that was my reaction too. I'm like, all right, until the police stop killing black people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear my diamond necklace. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, I get it. Like, you're... Uh, <laughs> you want to protest you're something? Not saying it, but you're also pissing off a lot of fucking <laughs> hippie-ass white people that don't eat fucking animals. Yeah, P- uh, Peter responded right away, and they... And they kind of gingerly tiptoed around this one um, because, I guess, just... Because of why she was going to wear the fur, um, and Peter basically ended up saying that murder is is always wrong, and even when right. it's a- and then they had to throw in even when it's animals, which is why we're hoping she finds a, a different way to protest. <laughs> oh Jesus! They didn't talk they about. They don't say even if they're gorillas, then they really would have fucking pissed some people off. Oh yeah, so that I think that's why they tiptoed around it so gingerly. They were like, um. <laughs> Generalize animals. Right. They're just like, animals. yeah, it's wrong. They're, they jumped in. They're like, yes, it's wrong to kill black people. And it's wrong to kill animals, too, by the way. Yeah, pretty much. Which is different from their normal, let's go throw red paint on people. <laughs> right. So that that's why I thought it was kind of funny that they were like, Oh yeah, like we're gonna we're definitely releasing a statement and the statement is like, uh, can you can you please not do that? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean murder is murder, I get it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you don't like that's like a double negative right there. 
Yeah, it's like, what the fuck does fur have to do with it? That's I just I still it's, get that. It really isn't. It has nothing to do with it. I mean, if you she's got, just I was, she's just trying to be out there. Maybe I mean, but it happened before the show, so maybe she's not trying to like distract or you know whatever away from the fact that she hmm. had a bad performance. Yeah, girl, what's on your mind? What made you think about this? Let's talk. <laughs> right, I mean, if, if you're out there and you're listening, like, let us know. Like, what's the first yeah. thing about? Like, uh, we're trying. To... <laughs> what is the reason behind this? Like, we, Why really, for... we really tried to put two and two together, but uh, it's just not working out. <laughs> and and Jasmine's really good at math. I mean, look at her; she's Asian. It, it doesn't get it doesn't get much more authentic than that. So, <laughs> so yeah, just uh, go ahead and uh, shoot us an email. Let us know um, <laughs> what's up, what's up with the fur. Yeah, even people commenting on social media, let us in on it. What do you think this is about? <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely. So funny. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Something good for the, um, for you know, the, since I, since we uh, we're gonna be on like our social media more, like the the Instagrams and the Snapchats and stuff like that. That would be a good one to put out there. Like, hey, if uh, you know what the first thing is about, go ahead and. You know, comment or whatever. Let us know. Let everybody know. <laughs> Is there something subliminal? Uh, you know, and I looked and I looked, but like, still nothing. I was like, wow. All right, maybe it was just. I'm gonna do something. What are you gonna do? Well, fuck. It's hot outside. I'm gonna go wear <laughs> fur. <laughs> Let's just you know, like, shake the internet up a bit and see what they'd have. To something to say about this whole thing i think that's a good one for the for the forums for the blog forums yeah i think so i'll, I'll go ahead and put that one up when when we put the show up and you know let's see what uh let's see what the masses think yeah let us know right. i don't know however many times we're gonna fucking say the same ass shit let us know <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, coming up in, uh, in the season, we're going to do some more, uh, rice and beans radio. Um, so to the musicians that are out there listening, uh, go ahead and uh, get us in, uh, the music. If uh, you want to, uh, be on the broadcast, uh, we can, uh, definitely get your, get your music in and, uh, doesn't matter what, uh, what kind of music, just, uh, send a cool story with it. And um, yeah. something that we can uh, talk a little bit about on, on the radio. Shameless plug. Exactly. Right? <laughs> That's what we should call it, shameless plug. Because we're all shameless in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're also going to get into uh, some more games. Uh, we got uh, that tournament that still, uh, that still has yet to start. We need uh, the other two uh, hosts to come in. <laughs> but uh, they're on sick leave today. <laughs> Which is totally, sick. I mean, which doesn't, which totally doesn't matter to Jasmine because. Unpaid sick leave. <laughs> That's right, unpaid sick leave. <laughs> which totally doesn't matter yeah, to Jasmine because she can't get sick because you can't send germs <laughs> through Skype. But me, on the other hand, uh, I got to sit next to those two and I'm really not trying to get sick. <laughs> so it, Man, they're always sick. Sick with some other fucking shit. <laughs> Pepper's got morning sickness. Cookie just said he had the flu, so I was like... Morning sickness? Is she pregnant? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, but she was throwing up in the morning. She was out of commission. <laughs> but she was throwing up in the morning, so I, I called it morning okay, sickness. Called morning sickness. All right, got it. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh, How Well Do You Know tournament. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, we're going to have uh, some guests on, uh, maybe starting uh, episode uh, four or five, uh, but we do have uh, rotating hosts coming back in. Uh, the beauty heroine and uh, Ray, the guitar guy, will also be here. So, um, got a lot of uh, interesting stuff to look forward to. <laughs> Are you ready, Jasmine? Are you excited? <laughs> 2019, guys. <laughs> We're not going to slack this time around. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Everyone's on sick leave today. Right? I know. 
We're throwing some shade today, guys. <laughs> I'm really on sick leave. Why can't I be on sick leave? <laughs> <laughs> I think out of I think out of all of us uh, that rotate through or that are on um, permanently, I think you're the one with the with the most perfect attendance. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I think uh, in the you know in the two seasons that we did, I think I only remember you missing maybe like two I shows. I missed a few. Oh, there was only like one or two where you weren't there. The rest of the time you yeah. were there. Oh, okay, good. I think one time I legit fell asleep. I was like, fuck Eastern Standard Time. Like, I was out. Yeah, there was our, it was our 420 bonus show we were supposed to <laughs> do it at 420. I think we were both smashed and passed out. <laughs> there was this one time I actually fucking passed out on camera. That was fucking golden. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, fuck it. If yeah. it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. I just doesn't happen after fuck day because after fuck day, I am just fucking out like a light. <laughs> And that's Fuck why we just went out my days off. <laughs> and that's why that's we, we, we changed the recording schedules. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, kids. Well, we were coming up on our time for this show, and we were going to get up on out of here, but we will be back next week, hopefully with a little bit fuller cast. <laughs> right, fuller. All right. Like our... Madonna's pants. <laughs> like Madonna's pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, until next time, take a toke and watch all your worries go up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs>